Hi everybody, it's Mark Shellshear. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. Now, I just want to make an announcement, guys, that tomorrow I am not going to be speaking and doing a video. I have a conference to do, so I'm hoping we can video some of that and I can let you see it uh, and see what I'm going to be talking about. I am going to be talking about a couple of things which I'm going to mention today and maybe do more about next week. And that is my concern that many artists are still holding on to the old ways. Now, if you've been listening to me for a, a period of time, you'll know that I see that the system that we had in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s is now broken. And that system is not going to work any longer. Yes, there's still galleries around and yes, there's still art schools around and yes, there's still dealers and all that around. But those gatekeepers, those things that had so much control are slowly getting to the point where they don't have that control, where that's not going to happen anymore because the great disruptor has come, which is, of course, uh, the internet. Now, I also see that there's so many artists today still holding on to the faint hope that galleries and auction houses and dealers will be the answer for them for the long-term future. But guys, honestly, think about this. Look at what happened to Kodak. They didn't grasp that new technology would change everything. Look what happened to the record industry. They didn't get what was going to happen and new technology came along and destroyed it totally. What was one of the most profitable industries ever, the music business, now doesn't exist as it existed when I was young. Okay, so this is also happening in the art world. And I, I'm one of the ones who's yelling, kind of yelling and saying, hey guys, look out, look out, it's all changing. And I truly believe it is all changing. And I believe that every artist who really embraces new technology will have a greater shot at maintaining a living from their art. Now, I look at, I look at all the great artists that, that, uh, who watch me and uh, listen to what I say, and I see that many are doing videos, and I encourage them, do more videos. Videos are the answer. Now, people say, why are videos the answer? Simply this, we get to know the artist and we get to understand what the artist is all about. Now, I'm not going to name artists because that wouldn't be right, but there's some artists who do videos now that really engage me to want to look at their paintings. Why? Because the artist is on the screen and I like the artist, so I'm liking the paintings. And I see this from not only Australia and America and Canada, but many artists are starting to do videos. Now what those videos do is they engage us. Now you can say, oh yeah, but my video is not really very good. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We just want to see you, the artist, painting your paintings, talking about your art, telling us what you think about it and why we should love it. And that's what it's about. There's some great blogs out there. I read two blogs yesterday, one from my friend Mike Barr in Australia about uh, art and slavery. Go and find it. Go and read it. Great blog. You know, I endorse it 100%. And then uh, another fine artist, uh, Giovanna in Canada, she wrote a blog. Touch my heart. It was different. It was, she was talking about the inner person in the art world. All these things make a difference. So friends, I encourage you, put your thoughts out there, write down what you're thinking about, make it into a blog. You can see sometimes my blogs are long and sometimes my blogs are short. It doesn't matter. It's just getting your voice out there. And I encourage you all. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to look at your videos. Why? Because it connects me to you. And I hope you get that. You see, the day of the artist hidden in the studio is long gone. The day of the collector coming and, uh, and hunting out you is gone. They're going to be watching this. The, the, the day of the dealer, you know, going around looking for that artist in the studio is gone. The dealers can't make any money anymore. But you, you artist, now can cut the middleman right out and just be you collector. And you can do that through this medium. 
Every one of you have a phone, a smartphone. You can video just like me. I use a phone. I don't use any other kind of camera but a phone. I love what the phone can do. It's mobile. I can do it anywhere. I can talk to anyone with it and it works every time. You can do that. Please, I implore you, don't be embarrassed. Let us meet you. Let us see what you're doing. Let us get an insight into you. You know, it's very important. Um, there's, there's one or two ladies right now who are doing videos and, and honestly and truly their videos have made me appreciate their work so much more. That I see the videos and I see them and I see their personality and how great they are and what they've got to say and it's engaging and I like them and I'm liking the work. You know, that's interesting, isn't it? And I believe that 100%. I've been saying it for so long. If the collector likes you, they most likely will like your work. And personality is everything, so get your personality out there. Honestly, if you're waiting for someone to discover you, you're going to die of old age because it's just not going to happen today. The only one way it's going to happen is if you do it. So I, I really say, guys, this is an opportunity. You have an opportunity I never had as a young artist. When I was a young artist, you had to go past the gatekeepers. And if those gatekeepers didn't like you, you didn't get in. And that's the problems I faced. I upset some people, and once you upset these people, you don't make it in. Yes, I could do all the local art shows and, and all the little bits, but I couldn't get into any major galleries because the gatekeepers control the game. There's no gatekeepers anymore. The only gatekeeper is the fear. That's the only gatekeeper now who's around fear, and fear stops people from doing videos, from doing blogs, from putting themselves out there because he doesn't want that. You know that. The fear wants you safe. But you can't be safe anymore. You must put yourself out there. So I'm asking you, please do some videos. Even videos of you just painting, just painting a little bit, just, and just talking about your painting. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be earth shattering. It just has to be you. Just like you'd be talking to a friend. That's how you do it. Just talk to a friend each day. That's what I do. Every day, I, I think of all the friends I've got out there in art world who, who like me, who say nice things, and I talk to them every day. And I love it. I love the, the opportunity that we have to do this. And that's how to see it, friends. This is a wonderful opportunity that you have, that I have, to communicate one with another, build relationships, and sell art. And that's what we're doing. So I hope that encourages you, you a little bit to get out there and do some videos, do some blogs, put your thoughts out there. Hey, don't worry about the critics because that's what they do. They're critics. And you're going to find there's always some there. You know, they come, they go. You just got to outstay them. Okay, my friends, I hope that, that uh, encourages you today. Get out there, make some videos, make some blogs. Tell us more about you so we get to know you better. Okay, now I'm going to probably do a video on Sunday uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the conference that I'm doing tomorrow. You have a great day. Remember, I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Galleria de las Islas and we can talk about art and videos and blogs and I can show you what I do. And I also ask you to remember that there's people out there who are hurting. Give generously of hugs and smiles and look after people and encourage them. Encourage them to be the best they can possibly be always. Okay, guys, have a great day. Talk to you on Sunday. Ciao.